All right, if you're putting down a uh, trim board, what you want to do is if you have a big gap on the bottom, we're going to mask the bottom of it and caulk it. It doesn't matter for most of the places. This isn't too bad. This looks pretty much okay over here. But here you can see we've got a big gap along the bottom. So let's get some tape and get that ready to roll. All right, so you could leave, or you could pull the tape up immediately. We're gonna leave it there. So we can do a quick uh, layer of paint on there. And hopefully that looks okay. Now, last thing I wanna show you guys is when you're doing, is when you're doing trim, you wanna make sure that you don't nail the trim flush into the wall everywhere that the wall bows in. If you do that, when you walk down here, you see the wood is nice and straight, but the wall dips in. So nail it here and here, nail it here and here where it's nice and tight against the wall, and then you'll cock that gap in there. Where it's thicker, you're gonna go slower, squeeze it more, get that gap nice and filled in. And you can go faster when it's not so thick. Probably should move that piece of tape. Whoops. Okay, so where it's super close to the wall, just really fast. And then get your paper towel. Put one finger above and one finger on it. So this finger keeps all the cock from squeezing up too far, and this finger smooths it out. Use a paper towel. This is a little trickier. Should have done something here. Oops. When it gets too much, you pull it out, throw it in the bucket, get another towel, and come back and clean up the top edge and the bottom edge. And that way, for the most part, you keep your fingers clean. You don't need water paints over just fine. We'll fill in that gap when we do this side. But it's a pretty exciting way to start the day.